Okay, the next hormonal pathway system we're gonna be looking at is the AMP and BMP. So remember from the chart again, the AMP and BMP are the two hormones that we looked at that will de decrease blood pressure. Okay, so we're looking at these two that will decrease blood pressure. Why does the body want to decrease blood pressure? Okay, so actually in this case, there, um, there is a homeostasis blood pressure, but in this case, the body really want to control the blood pressure and decrease the heart's workload. So this is going to happen when the heart feels stressed. Okay, there's too much pressure. Okay, so we want to think of it that way. So how does the heart feel um, stressed? So the heart is only a certain size. So if my heart is the size of my fist. If there's too much pressure coming into my heart, like too much blood volume, for example, it's gonna feel stretched, strained, okay? Or if the heart is pumping and they're not able to push out all the fluid, too much fluid is backing up, it's gonna feel stretched, okay? This can happen in cases where blood pressure is abnormally high or in cases where the heart is failing. So if they have heart failure, blood is not being pumped out well enough, so it stays in the heart, causing the heart to distension or stretch and feeling a lot of heavy workload that they can't push up, okay? So a failing heart can only handle a low amount of workload, so that's also considered a high workload for the heart. So step one is when the heart feels the stretch, okay? When you feel stretch, it needs to protect itself or the heart will fail, okay, um, even more. So step one is a high blood pressure or high atrial and ventricular pressure or stretching. So in the atria releases a hormone called AMP or atrial naturally uretic peptide, meaning naturally uretic, okay? And then the ventricle will release a B type or it's actually called brain, it was first discovered brain, natural uretic peptide, the uh, release large amount of AMP and BMP. Both of these are hormones. So at step three, you now have AMP and BMP circulating the body. So when AMP and BMP is circulating the body, what does it do? So step four in blue is all the responses. On the vessels, remember our goal is not to decrease blood pressure. So on the vessels, you're gonna cause vasodilation and then the decrease in blood pressure. And then in the kidney, you can now retain less water, stop hormones that are gonna make you retain water, like aldosterone retain less water, increase urine output, decrease blood volume, and decrease blood pressure. So compared to uh, angiotensin, this is the opposite action, right? So, you should, so it's not as hard to remember as you think, is that you have opposite action, the vessels vasodilate, and then the fluid are not retained, urine's outputted, and then blood pressure goes down. You can look and read and follow along with the words. Again, it's color-coded to follow the chart. Watch this video, do some practice questions, and figure out what AMP and BMP does, okay, to protect the heart. So incidentally, if you remember back in the um, heart attack case station you did um, with Crockett, um, Roger Crockett, okay, so what happened is that he had really, really high BMP, and that was an indication that his heart was failing. So this is a measuring point for when patients have high BMP is telling um, us that the heart is failing because when the workload is too much for a failing heart, the BMP goes up because blood pressure starts concentrating in the ventricle and it's unable to push it off. So there's a lot of stretching and like in dilated cardiomyopathy, then you're going to have high BMP levels. So again, practice, study, and it's not as hard as it look. If you really understand the factor that control blood pressure, these hormones, these neurons are just trying to alter those factors to allow you to have homeostasis in blood pressure and have the blood pressure to do what you need done. Okay, good luck. If you have any questions, ask me.